Hello! On this episode of Basic Arduino, we will take a look at how to connect and use rotary encoders with our Arduino boards. Here are two of the most common encoders you will find for sale on eBay and Amazon. The first one, which I have connected to an Arduino Nano, is a Keys KY-040. The second rotary encoder, which I have connected to an Arduino Uno, is a EC-11. Both of these rotary encoders work the same way. The only difference is the KY-040 is mounted on a breadboard and the EC-11 is not. As you can see, when I turn the rotary encoders, the value displayed on the OLED display goes up or down depending on the direction they are turned. Clockwise increases the number and counterclockwise decreases the number. If you have an OLED display and want to try this out yourself, look in the description below and you will find a link to this project's webpage where you can find the wiring schematic and the Arduino sketch. For this tutorial, we will be using a simpler sketch that uses the Arduino serial monitor to display the value on your computer's screen. This will keep this tutorial less confusing and easier to understand. But before we look at the Arduino sketch, let's take a look at how to connect the rotary encoders to our Arduino board. First, we will look at connecting the EC11 rotary encoder, and then second, we will look at how to connect the KY 040 rotary encoder. The Arduino sketch we will be using uses the Arduino interrupt pins. On the Uno and Nano boards, this is digital pin 2 and 3. If you are using a different board, just check its datasheet to find out if it uses the same pins. If it doesn't, just simply use the, the pins defined on the data sheet instead of these. One side of your encoder will have three tabs. And if it has a push button, another side will have two tabs. Looking from the top with the three tabs facing down, connect the first tab, the one to the far left, to digital pin three on your Arduino board. Next, connect the middle tab to ground and then connect the far right tab to digital pin two on the Arduino board. Now, if your rotary encoder has a push button, Connect one of those two tabs to digital pin 8 on the Arduino and connect the other pin to ground. If you don't have a push button on your rotary encoder, don't worry, it won't affect anything. In the sketch we will be looking at in a moment, it just resets the counter value to zero. Optionally, you could just use a separate push button connected between ground and digital pin 8 on the Arduino. Now, for connecting the KY040 rotary encoder module, you will have a pin labeled CLK. Connect that to digital pin 2 on your Arduino. Next, you will have a pin labeled DT. You connect that to digital pin 3 on your Arduino board. Remember, if your Arduino uses different pins for the interrupts, use them instead. Pin marked SW is for your push button, so go ahead and connect that to digital pin 8 on your Arduino. After that, you just need to connect the ground pin. I have also tried this encoder with the VCC pin connected and not connected, and found no difference in performance. So it is completely up to you if you want to connect it or not. Now that we have our rotary encoder connected to the Arduino, let's try it out to make sure everything is working. There is a link in the description below for this project's webpage. There you will find this sketch. It will be labeled Serial Display Rotary Encoder. Just copy and paste it in your Arduino's IDE and go ahead and upload it. Next, open your serial monitor and then try turning the rotary encoder. If everything is working right, turning the encoder clockwise will increase the value displayed, and turning it counterclockwise will decrease the value displayed. If, for some reason, it's working backwards, or you just want it to work the other way, just simply switch the two wires around on the Arduino interrupt pins. Alright, let's take a look at the Arduino sketch to see how this works and how we can modify it. To start off with, we are defining the two pins the rotary encoder is connected to. 
Since we need to have them on the Arduino interrupt pins, we are using digital pins 2 and 3. Just remember, if your Arduino uses different pins for the interrupts, put their pin numbers here in place of 2 and 3. Next, we are defining the pin the push button is on. If you use a different pin than digital 8, make sure to change it to match your setup. We follow that up with declaring an integer called encoder POS, short for encoder position, and setting it to equal zero. This is where we will be storing the value generated from turning the rotary encoder. Now we have some code you don't want to change. It's for detecting if the rotary encoder has been turned and some software debouncing for the rotary encoder. In the void setup, the first thing we are doing is setting the pin modes for the rotary encoder and its push button. By using the input pull-up command, we can use the Arduino's internal pull-up resistors so we don't have to add external pull-up resistors to the circuit. Next, we are setting up our interrupts and naming them do encoder A and do encoder B. We finish up the void setup by starting up the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. If you use a different rate, just make sure to set the serial monitor to match. In the void loop, we start out with a line of code for the software debouncing of the rotary encoder. Next, we have an if statement that is checking to see if the rotary encoder has been turned. If it has been turned, we do a serial dot print of the text value equals and then a serial dot print line of the encoder position. The encoder position is the integer where we are storing the value generated from turning the rotary encoder. This is another line of code for detecting if the rotary encoder has been turned. We finish up the void loop with an if statement that is checking to see if the push button is being pushed. If it is being pushed, it sets the encoder position integer back to zero. All we have left now is the two interrupts, void do encoder A and void do encoder B. The only thing here you want to play with is the encoder position plus equals one and the encoder position minus equals one. These two lines of code increase and decrease the encoder position integer's value when you turn the rotary encoder. Right now, every increment you turn the rotary encoder will increase or decrease the value by one. Whatever you change these numbers to will determine how much the value will change with every increment you turn the rotary encoder. That concludes this episode of Basic Arduino. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.